Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Good afternoon. This beautiful Wednesday afternoon. I pray that our God is doing an awesome thing in your life this very moment. And I speak blessings over you, your life, and your future in Jesus' name. I'm Apostle Jerry Haynes, uh, the founder of and pastor of the Inner Court Outreach Ministries in Kerberville, Texas. Uh, also, the Lord blessed us to establish a fellowship called COAG, Citizens of Apostolic Kingdom. I am so excited. We are about to embrace our fourth annual Holy Convocation. Yes, Holy Convocation 2017. It will convene Tuesday night, July the 18th, throughout the 22nd at 7 p.m. The location is 3655 Holland Avenue in the beautiful city of Beaumont, Texas, where the proud pastors are Tina and Tim Henderson. You need to make plans now to be there. I believe in all of my spirit that this year's convocation is going to be so unique. Our theme this year is, Lord, another Pentecost. We're fasting now. Churches are fasting right this morning. Pastors are fasting now. Believing God, compelling God to give us a Holy Ghost awakening beginning Tuesday night. You don't want to miss it. As a matter of fact, you've got to be there. Whatever it takes. Listen to me again. Listen to me. I'm talking to you now. Whatever it takes. You need to make it priority. As a matter of fact, this is urgent. You've got to be here. You may ask the question, why? Why? Well, I'm glad you asked. This is another convocation. So what makes it different? I, I am so compelled to believe. As a matter of fact, I know. After I was a praying and fasting with the Father, and now we still have, at this moment, people praying and fasting, I believe doing this convocation, during the very essence of the hours, you will deliver, we will experience the deliverance, healing, prophetic word that's so accurate and precise that will impact and change your life. Yes, our theme again is Lord, another Pentecost. You need to be there. All the contact information is on the screen. Please take time. Jot it down. Write these numbers down. Call these people. If there's any concern, if there's any need to, to, to encourage or to assist you in being a part of this convocation, call these people. They're anxiously waiting on your call. 3655 Holland Avenue. Tuesday night, Tuesday night, we're going to open up. We're going to be honoring what I call the pillars of the faith. For too long in our church, in the body of Christ, our senior citizens have been led to believe or feel like no one cares, or they're not needed, or not useful. I know you know better. I know the difference. But sometimes they feel this way. This Tuesday night, July 18th, we're going to have a special moment of remembering and honoring those senior citizens, those soldiers that are 55 years and older, who've labored and been faithful, supporting leadership for years. We're going to recognize them. We're encouraging our families their children, their grandchildren, and their great-grandchildren to come out and see Papa, see Momo, see them being honored, not by the world, but by the church. By the church. That's Tuesday night, July 18th. We're going to conclude Friday night, the 21st. That'll be the official night. Whatever you got to do, you need to be there. We've already believed, believed in God, asking God for some good weather, so that shouldn't be an issue. Okay? Again, all of the contact information is on the screen. Friday night, the official night, 7 p.m. nightly. But then it doesn't stop there. This convocation is concerned about the mind, body, and soul, the total. Man. Saturday morning, we're going to begin with worship, with prayer. We have a word of God that will be given to you by one of our bishop, Bishop Larry Matthews. After that, we're going to break off in workshops. We're going to be dealing with such things as as spiritual warfare, such things as the accuracy of prophetic word, such things of what to do, how to do, when to do, as a single parent, a single individual in the body of Christ. You know, for too long, we've heard, don't do this and do that. But for too long, we've not been given the solution of how to do it. 
Saturday morning will be that opportunity. We break off in workshops, have some phenomenal teachers that will impregnate and insert the Word of God, the principles by application of how to be successful overcomers in the body of Christ. I'm praying for you, but also I'm expecting with great anticipation to see your face in the place. Next week, Tuesday, July 18th through Friday night, the 21st, the convocation, 7 p.m. nightly, Saturday morning, our workshop. And after the workshop, we're going to have some good old soul food. Yes, we're going to have some throw down eat. Yes, we are. Come out of here, Paul. I promise you, if you come one night, you will come to Saturday night. Thank you for this time. I pray that our Father would allow the rest of the year to be seven times better than the first part of the year. That's my prayer. And I pray that your soul prosper and be in good health, even as your soul prosper. My prayer is to see you there. Pray for me, I will pray for you. God bless you and keep you, is our prayer. Our Rose Lee, 36, 55, Holland Avenue, Beaumont, Texas, 7 p.m. nightly. God bless you and keep you as my prayer.